On the 24th of January, 2023, in the virtual world of Second Life, my boat drifted into a regional border intersection, and I fell through the bottom of the craft. Although regional border crossings can cause strange events to occur, this time it caused me to fall into the spatial anomaly, commonly known as the back rooms. Immediately I recognized where I was by the chevron wallpaper and all the fluorescent lights. It was when I crossed into an adjoining room and everything suddenly turned strangely black and white that I suspected this region might be unstable and could crash at any time. Although I felt fairly secure investigating this phenomenon, I figured that a little bit of caution was in order. As I approached the next room, a floating light bulb suspended over a lone chair caught my attention. Are you aware of all the empty chairs recorded populating the back rooms? As I attempted a closer look at the chair, I fell through the floor. While landing into a darker section of the back rooms was a bit spooky, I was relieved that I was thrown into another explorable location. The next room I explored, with its bright colors, I found fascinating. My first thought was, what was the flamingo doing on the wall? And who or what put it there? Although the giant axe was a bit intimidating, I must admit that I found the 1960s lava lamp to be strangely mesmerizing as it bubbled and lit up its corner of the room. Did the lamp have a purpose? Or was it just there as one of three strange objects filling up the empty space? When I checked out the axe, I had to wonder if it was there to symbolize a warning. Maybe this room wasn't meant to be visited. This unsettling thought prompted me to explore the next chamber. I discovered the room with the floating sphere contained no exits, except for the pit that the sphere hovered over, and I was beginning to feel that I wanted out of all this weirdness. As I edged up for a closer look, I was sucked into the pit and surprisingly returned to my boat. I was relieved to have found an exit and eventually put a buoy in the spot to warn others of the unsafe location. The next time you visit the virtual world of Second Life, please be on the lookout for unstable regions. I wouldn't want you to get inconveniently abandoned somewhere in the back rooms.